Everybody, Jay Mannion here at the MPC Photo Gym, and I am here with your three-time Bikini Olympian champion, and the person that has the most IFBB Pro League victories. Ashley Coltwasser. Hello, everyone. If you didn't know who it was. All right, so Ashley, getting ready. This is your 2022 Road to the Olympia. As I just told you a couple minutes ago, I have filmed you more than any other athlete at the MPC Photo Gym. I feel pretty special. So now you have another record. Yes, I'm out here breaking many <laughs> records, you know? That's what I do. It helped that she used to live an hour away. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, it's a little farther for me these days now that I'm living in Vegas, but it was awfully convenient. I do miss that about living in Ohio. Yeah, but you don't miss the cold and the snow like today. Yeah, it was a, uh, a, a quite the reminder today when I walked out and there's this white substance on the ground and I was like, oh, this is the snow? You know, in Vegas, we don't see it. It was like, now I remember why I moved to Vegas. Yeah, right? now I know why I moved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not the brown sand. Yeah, no brown sand, no desert. But, yeah, it's a lot, a lot more moisturizing over here, a lot more humidity. So it's a little dry in the desert, you know. Yes. It's not good for the skin sometimes. Okay. So normally I ask some normal questions, but if you've watched any of the other videos I've done before this, I've talked to every pro bikini athlete that's come in here, and... I bring up the subject about you competing in shows and competitors complaining that you're taking away a spot and everything. And the fact is that everybody that came in here agrees with what you're doing. They, they have no problem with it because, as they say, they want to compete against the best, and you're arguably one of the best, you know? So just so you know that a lot of the women you're going to be competing against in the Olympia actually support you. How does it make you feel? I love that. See, I love competitors that are like that, that have that strong mindset. And it's, um, it's an honor. Honestly, I think, you know, anytime I step on stage at a show, it's always a challenge for me. So I love experiencing, um, being able to compete with other competitors and even the ones I haven't heard of before, because you never know there's surprises in every single show. So you know, it's a, it's a lot of fun, but I'm glad that they're of the same mindset. And I encourage athletes to, dang, can be as much as you want. Live, live the dream. That's what I'm doing. So it's a lot of right. fun. And like they said, you know, they want to test themselves against, against you, mm -hmm. which I think is a great mentality to have. Yes, absolutely. I love it. So not only do you get to test how you see against other competitors, but you can, anytime you step on stage, it's like a little experiment for yourself. Like, change your suit color, change your posing routine, see what works for you too. So every show that I've done leading up to this year's Olympia is like a little bit of practice to see what looks work best for me. So, you know. And we've talked about this before and you even said you've never had an undefeated season. That's true. I've never been undefeated. Um, so it's tough out there in these bikini streets. It's tough. It's always a challenge. All right. So I am going to bring up what we would maybe consider a little hot topic as people say that why don't you do the big shows? Well, guess what, people? There are no small shows anymore. There are no easy shows. I never thought that there were, but in people's minds there were. What do you say to that? I think that is such an excuse. It's, um, it's kind of rationalizing or, you know, just one thing to add on to, to, to kind of, you know, make me look bad, I guess. But like he said, there is no such thing as a small show in the pro leagues, but... If we're going off of what you would think would be a big show, like since when was the Pittsburgh Pro Show small or the Arnold Classic or the Arnold Classic UK? But at the end of the day, honestly, I cannot control who shows up to shows. Like I don't know who's competing until literally when I step on stage. So it's not like I'm, uh, you know, intentionally going for any certain show of numbers. And I will say some of the shows that one might be considered easier weren't the case at all when I stepped on stage. I've gotten worked at these smaller shows and some of the bigger shows were easier for me. So it all depends on the day because it's such a competitive um, field out there, no matter what show it is. So if you're off by just a little bit, it can be the difference between first and eighth, you know? So you never know what you're dealing with until you step on stage. That's the thing about our sport. You cannot control anything but yourself. You cannot control who shows up, how it's judged, how the other competitors look. So I only do me, and that's who I focus on, I guess, the most. Yeah, I mean, you got, you got really worked at the Wasatch Warrior with you in India, right? Oh, yeah, that was not easy. That was I was not... sitting there going, is this 2015 or 2022? Hmm, I've got to jump in a time machine. I don't know. 
but to see you two up there again. That was a cool show to experience. That was, it did bring back so many memories. And I brought back my green suit for that occasion and started wearing it a few times this year too, because I liked it so much. And I might wear it at Columbia, the green, ah, just like the old times. Yeah, totally. So um, I don't know who's coming in. <laughs> Somebody's coming in. Oh, it's this guy. All right. Are you keeping that part in? <laughs> yeah. We'll let him guess who it was. Okay. In the comment section below, guess who it was. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, what I was saying, too, is why do none of the other divisions complain? Like, you know, whether it be figure, or women's physique, wellness, even in the men's division. I mean, you have, back in the day, I mean, Flex Lewis would win the 212 Olympian. He'd go on and do a bunch of other contests, but those, the men didn't complain. Exactly. There is no reason for it, especially since Bikini has the most shows available. Honestly, some, some weekends there's like three or four shows you can do. Yeah. So I think people try to use me as an excuse or a problem. But the sad thing is sometimes it's not even competitors that complain. Actually, most of the time it's like just spectators or trainers, or trainers, just... coaches. Yes. I said, I said, Issa Pacini came over and did two contests this year. Yes. No one complained that she didn't. She's qualified for life. Exactly. And it's a lot of fun. And that, that's, that same theory could be taken. And why did Janet enter Pittsburgh? She's qualified for life. Yeah. So, so I guess if you win the Olympia, they just want you just to not compete ever again. So if you're going by that theory, then technically they would say that you and Janet took two spots. Uh-oh, two spots. There's only, there's only 60 more left. Shoot, what are they going to do? Only 60 more left. Give me a break. <laughs> Listen, I mean, people have asked me my opinion. If you, if you haven't guessed by me asking everybody what side of the fence I sit on, my thing is you need to go to a contest and beat her. Because if you're not beating her at one of these contests, let's be honest, what are you going to do at the Olympia? I agree. I agree. And hey, like I, it, it's not, it was never easy for me to qualify for Olympia. And um, I, and it should not be easy for anyone, honestly. The Olympia isn't meant to be like, oh, let's see how many people we can qualify, right? It's the most prestigious show of the year. So you got to earn it. It's not given to you. You got to earn it. Listen, and I'll say this, and this isn't going to be easy to say in front of her. She was the defending Pittsburgh pro champion, and she didn't win it this year. I know. Sad tear. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah. So, that, but that's what I'm saying. So there's a perfect example right there. Exactly. I never go into a show assuming I'm going to win, thinking I'm going to win. I know it's going to be tough regardless of what show it is. And I got to bring my A game every single time. Yeah. And that's the one thing that I, I do hear people say, how does Ashley do it week after week after week? My, I always say without even talking to you, I go, well, you've been an athlete your entire life. You were a track and field athlete. You've just transitioned into this. Uh, sport and remain an athlete. And that's the other thing. She's a professional athlete. So why wouldn't you do professional contests too? Besides winning, you win cash prizes. Exactly. You know, the experience, the, the practice, the cash, of course. Um, but, you know, I can say with all my heart, I love this so much and it's so much fun for me too. So regardless of the money I win, I would do it um, because it's like I'm having the time of my life. Like how cool is my life that I get to travel wherever I want, whenever I want, to whatever country I want to, to compete in a show. And, um, you know, luckily I have great sponsors that take care of things. I have a great coach that supports me. I have the lifestyle to do so. So why the heck not, you know? Yeah, I've actually had a couple of competitors come in here to say that they qualified three times this year. Well, why didn't they stop after the first one? Yeah, exactly. You can get better every time. You can learn things about yourself and stay current with the trends and everything because, Bikini, just like every other division, little things change here and there every time, whether it be with posing or styles of, of suits or whatever. You got to stay current. You got to be on your A game every time and just, you know, be in the mix. Yeah. And you being, as I still consider an OG bikini because of when you turn pro, but you have maintained this competitive lifestyle at such a high level for so many years. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's been pro now for nine years. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting started though, honestly. I'm just getting started, so consider me a rookie in this game of life. If you, if you know her age, and I'm not going to say it, but she can be around a long time, trust me. 
I mean, I'm not that old. He's making me sound like I'm 50. I'm not. <laughs> I'm 33, but okay. <laughs> but hey, I won more shows than I'm, I'm old, so whatever. You know? Well, there you go. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that's a, that's kind of cool thing to say. It so. is. It is. You know, and, but like I'm saying, I, I remember I had a judge. You would, it was probably like, I think it was last year or year before, you were, you were like at your fourth contest and we were just casually chatting about it. And, and the judge said to me, I just don't understand how she maintains and gets better every contest. You know, I like. It's part of the process of doing that. Exactly. Every show is a learning lesson. So, whether I win or if I don't win, I'm going to learn something from that show. Even if I got a perfect score at a show, there's something I can learn because there's something I can do better. And I make sure to get judges' feedback every time, except for after UK. I was a little tired and I left. But you got it for me, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. But I always learn. So important to get judges' feedback. Yeah. I always, I always tell people, win or not, you can still learn, even from winning. And that's pretty much in any sport. Exactly, exactly. Because Like, what did you do right? Exactly. What did I do right? How can I replicate this same thing, you know? Um, and regardless, any show you do is never going to be the same because you're competing against different people, you know? So different uh, stages, stage lighting, uh, textures of floors, things people don't even think about, like the surface of the stage. You got to practice on it all. And the best practice is not in front of an iPhone, is not in front of your coach. It's on stage. Yeah, I mean, and you get as many judges' eyes on you as possible, and so you get all that feedback of what to do because the ultimate goal is the Olympia. Exactly, and the great thing about having different judges judge you at different shows is they'll give you different feedback that they think that can help you improve, you know? So something that maybe somebody else didn't notice, another judge will. So that's helpful, and that information is so valuable. Yeah, I mean, like, one of the judges from the Pittsburgh Pro was the head judge of the Arnold UK, so he had seen you both times. Exactly, and you know what's funny is he told me a piece of feedback um, in Pittsburgh that I applied to Arnold UK and I fixed it and that was no longer an issue. So see, I'm learning, learning every time. Yeah. You can never not learn. Exactly. Exactly. No one's perfect. Everyone can improve something. Yes. So, I mean, this, this year's Olympia, you're going to have so many bikini Olympia champions in it, which there's never been that many before. So you've got, you've got Jennifer, you've got you, you've got Janet, you've got Isa. Mm -hmm. Four oh. Bikini Olympia champions in one contest. Ooh, that gives me the goosebumps. That is so cool. That is the coolest thing ever. It is like, I can't wait. I can't wait. Ah, can it just be like Olympia time already? I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, uh, how do you feel that you only have to drive down the street this year? That is so convenient. I'm still staying at the hotel, but hey, you know what? It's it's exciting and it's super convenient and I feel like more comfortable and I less things to worry about as far as traveling, you know? And did I forget something at home? Oh, it doesn't matter. I can drive and get it if I need. So that's nice. Well, that's the thing. A couple of the competitors that live in Las Vegas said they're staying at the host hotel too just because they want to be in, in the environment, be in the, in the mix with everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. It's definitely like a vibe, you know? Um, it definitely gets you more pumped up like you're in it you're it's real you know like one person said you could hit a bad piece of traffic or an accident and you're screwed i have nightmares about this i swear i have nightmares about missing my class that's why i'm usually the first person backstage like i you know competitors <laughs> have nightmares sometimes before shows like oh oops i forgot to tan or oh, i forgot to prep completely whoops showed up today looks like i forgot to prepare you know well, and I would tell you, she was like the first competitor backstage at the Arnold UK. It's true. I, I definitely have a, a fear of, of missing my class. <laughs> yeah, and you could get jammed up on the Las Vegas, the, the Strip, real easy. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, it's always busy in Vegas. Many events are going on, so better safe than sorry. Yeah, I mean, and let's be honest. And the Olympia is in the middle of hockey and NFL season. Who cares about those sports? But I'm saying that there's a lot, of, there's a lot going on. There'll be pro probably a lot of traffic and different things around yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I know. But the Olympia is the place to be. It is the place to be. That, so be there, be square. And if you're not going to be there, go to the pay-per-view and watch it. Normally I say that at the end, but yes. Go to MrOlympia.com for that. <laughs> exactly. Do it. You don't want to miss it. So is there anything else that you're doing differently? I doubt it, but leading up to this year's Olympia. I will say... You know, it's been much more relaxed for me going into this year's Olympia. 
Um, my last show that I did was in Nevada State, which was a week after the Arnold UK. So I've kind of maintained pretty dang close to stage uh, shape. So that makes my prep going into it a lot easier, uh, less cardio, more food. So that's a, a good combination. So I guess I'm coming into it with just like a more at ease mindset, like a little more, a little more confidence, I think. And, and I love hearing that we have, can I say it, a time limit? There's a time limit, but we won't say it out loud yet. You will all be getting a notice on it. Okay, so I'm cut that part. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just really excited. And it's in my hometown, so it's back. It's back. Woo! Okay, so one of the fun things I like to say to Ashley all the time is if you've ever watched her on social media, you know that she is very athletic and she can do a lot of things that the fitness competitors do. I always say to her, after you get that fourth and lit, Bikini Olympia, you're ever going to just for, just for fun, jump into a pro fitness contest? I mean, it's not, it, it's not off the table completely, but I, I, I'm a little small for the division, you know, I'd look like a little infant. Yeah, but here's the thing. You keep doing the routine over and over and you're going to build up. And I, and I said, plus Adam's going to have to feed you more food. Sorry, yeah. Adam. <laughs> You know, I guess, but I mean, you never know what the future holds, you know, but uh, like I said, I'm just getting started, Jam, so what the heck are you talking about? Just getting started. Okay, when you're done with the bikini side. Okay, okay yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, whoever wants her to do the, the fitness, a fitness contest at some point, you should just, just barrage her Instagram and tell her to do it. Oh my goodness, yeah, well, we gotta, we gotta pray to the shoulder gods um, and the quad gods that I get some fitness uh, quads and, and delts well, going on. The more you do the routines, that'll just come naturally. I mean, I don't know if that's going to do it, but <laughs> you never know. Hey, it's, it's, I'm not used to training that way, so maybe it's uh, going to shock my body and yeah. just explode. But we'll wait till you get that fourth Olympia, yeah. bikini Olympia. We'll wait. We'll wait. <laughs> good, good call there. <laughs> Listen, you could be the first person to be a multi-bikini Olympia champion and go into the fitness Olympia. Man, but those fitness girls, man, shoot. They've gotten really good. <laughs> They've gotten so good. Oh, my gosh. They're incredible. So my hats are off to them. I've never never tried to prep and also do routines at the same time. So I can only imagine how difficult that is. So my goodness. Yeah. I mean, every division is going to have – it's going to be crazy this year. I know. Oh, my gosh. It is definitely something you don't want to miss. It's going to be – even for the other divisions, I'm going to be on the edge of my seat like – you know, I have a feeling it's going to be really close between all the divisions. So, you, you know, it's like a nail biter, you know? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be fun. So is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to while we're here? Yeah. So thank you for having me here at the new uh, facility. Um, thank you to the IFBB NPC for, you know, creating this awesome sport and giving me a place to compete. My coach, Adam Bonilla from Team Elite Physique. Uh, my sponsor, High Tech Pharma, Angel Competition Bikinis, Liquid Sunrays, Trifecta Muscle Leg, Mom and Dad for giving me some decent genetics. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Um, and thank you guys all for the support, too. That's uh, kind of cool that you guys are watching us. All right. So Ashley told you before where to go. Go to MrOlympia.com and decide whether you're going to be there in person or you're going to do the pay-per-view. If you need a hotel room, same thing. Go to MrOlympia.com and get all that. But this is the return to Vegas and probably the biggest and best Olympia in ages. Oh, yeah. I'm so ready for this. Let's freaking do it. It's going to be big. It's going to be a big one. All right. Well, J.M. Mannion. Ashley Caldwell. Signing off for NPC News Online, and we'll see you soon.